Hello today, and today we're going to be taking a look at the PCIe to SATA 3.0 eSATA adapter converter extension card. Yes, so basically this um, allows you to run more SATA if you need it. Um, just say your motherboard um, only maybe supports two um, SATA connections, or if your motherboard happens to only support SATA 2.0. If you've got a spare PCIe slot available, um, you're just say you've got a solid state drive that supports 3.0, SATA 3.0, um, it'll make it faster. But the only, it doesn't, um, basically it's not going to be nowhere as fast as a, a motherboard that does support SATA 3.0. It's not nowhere as fast, I have tested it, um, but it is faster than SATA 2.0 on standard motherboards. So this could come in handy, and there's loads of different models out there of these type cards. Um, this was one of the cheapest, this was just under a tenner. Um, yeah, so basically, as you can see, you can see two at the front here, which is um, eSATA, and two at the side here which is basic SATA. Um, it does boot. Um, it is a bootable card. Um, but the thing is, you can only use two channels at once. Um, you can't use all four. Um, so you basically can use two internals, or the two eSATAs, or one um, SATA and one eSATA. Whatever you want, but you can't use all four. That's the only downside about it, but... I mean, it's pretty rarely that you're going to find external SATA connections, or I don't know, because you, you, not a lot of um, you can get them, but it's pretty rare. But you never know; you, you might be different. Um, but as you can see, it supports um, PCI Express, the small small one. If you've got a spare lane available, you can plug it straight into there, or you can plug it into the graphics card for um, port if you want to. Um, if you need more SATA connections. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to do some bench tests with it, just to see, just to show you what I mean. Right, as we can see, I have set it up. Um, I'm using my test computer here. So we put it in the top where the graphics card usually goes, because the other one's being taken by another card. So what you do, you place the the cable into there, into that port. I think that's port one, that's port two. Um, so it's connected to my solid state drive, which is a SATA 3.0. And now we're going to turn on and run the test. You know it's installed because it'll come up with this message and it'll say detected the drive. So then once it's detected, it'll boot up. Right, it's all set up. Now we're going to run the test. So we're using Crystal Dismark 5.1.2, which I highly recommend if you want to do some bench testing on solid state drives, hard drive, etc. I've used this a few times, so I like this piece of software. The only problem is with these carpods is, um, as you can see inside, you can see it's got a little LED, if you can see under there, um, it's actually reflecting off off the card there, it's actually reflecting off the card but it's under there the LED it's like an R drive activity light but the only problem with these cards is um, around the front um, here will be here would be the hard drive activity light but because it's running, if booting from the card this light won't work only the light. If like your DVD drive or your got another drive plugged into the motherboard, that will work. But because it's connected to the card, your your hard drive activity light won't come on. That's the only thing I don't like about these cards. Because of that. Because of that. But what can you do? It's enough. I don't think there's anything you can do about that. Right. Um, so that's the test over. I think there was a definite problem there. Um, as you can see, the read um, test went okay, but the write test 
took about half hour so it makes me think there could be a problem with the card um, I've had this card for a long time uh, it hardly gets used so maybe something has malfunctioned with it um, to be honest with you I would not use one of these cards because I don't like the fact that the, um, the hard drive light doesn't work and you know I'd rather use the uh, motherboards um, SATA ports than using additional card ports um, to me no I wouldn't recommend any of these cards but everyone's different at the end of the day there you go anyway I'm going to end this now thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye